Happy Christmas, everyone! This is my first Christmas here at Virgin Rock, and I wanted to do something special about it. And I was talking to Vlad, and and we were talking about different ideas we could do, and we decided to do a first listen to a Christmas-themed song. Well, of course, in the Western world, Christmas is a big holiday. I know it's not every part of the world, and it's not the only holiday of this time of year. But that's what I've chosen, because whether you're religious or not, many people celebrate Christmas regardless. And we've picked a song that kind of fits that. Vlad suggested Happy Christmas, War is Over by John Lennon. And that's one that I'm not aware that I've ever heard. Perhaps if I was in a store somewhere, I might have heard it or, or something. But I'm not aware of ever having heard it before. So I'm going to do my first listen of that tonight. There are several reasons we've chosen this particular song. As I said, we wanted something that was suitable for everybody, religious or not. And John Lennon was atheist, so this is not a religious-themed Christmas song. And Vlad tells me that the message is very universal and something that everybody can embrace. So I was happy about that. Also, the second reason is that when it was released, we were kind of in a similar context as far as war goes. Vietnam and now Ukraine. And it's, it's kind of nice to be able to reapply it in a similar way to which it was originally intended or inspired. It intrigues me the title War is Over knowing that at that time the Vietnam War was still going on and I'm curious what he's going to do with that idea in the song. So I'll be listening for that along the way to see what's, what's, what's his approach here and how is this working. And one more thing, I am not planning to do an in-depth on this particular song. This is just a Christmas special, shall we say. And it's my gift, our gift to you today. So it's going to be just the first listen and I'm going to format it slightly differently than I normally do. I am going to do my first listen completely uninterrupted and then immediately, you know, I'll, I'll say whatever I want to say after I hear it for the first time uninterrupted and then I'll go back and listen and maybe comment on a few things if I want to. We'll see how it flows, okay? But my absolute first listen is going to be absolutely unbroken. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Happy Christmas, Kyoko. Happy Christmas, Julian. So this is Christmas. And what have you done? Another year over. And a new one just begun. And so this is Christmas.
was really sweet and I enjoyed it a lot. It's interesting to me how it's built up in the happiness and enthusiasm throughout the piece of music. It started out a uh, kind of a warm greeting feeling, but not particularly enthusiastic. But by the end, with the children's chorus and the the build up of of harmonies and and layers of of vocal lines and just the overall happy vibe of it, it was it was really fun to get into and just go along with it. <clears throat> I'm thinking about this idea of war is over if you want it, which was the children's chorus, essentially. And then the other idea of happy Christmas, a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and and how they've layered these two ide ideas. And they didn't, the lyrics are very simple. They're not getting into anything deep. They're just letting us explore this on our own, in our own way, <clears throat> which I think is what we do with holidays, really. We take Christmas and according to our own experience, our own background, our own worldview, we celebrate it in our own way and we relate to it in our own way. And I guess that works well with the song as well. We get to choose our own way of relating to it, in a sense. But maybe I feel like this idea of proclaiming war is over while a war is going on. It's kind of a, a well, it's a very optimistic worldview. It's a very hopeful look at things. It's as if you have the confidence to believe that this war is not going to go on forever. It's not going to be that there's, that there's a potential for this kind of happiness to actually uh, manifest itself in the broader world. And I always like hopeful things. I always like positive things. I know it doesn't help us to dream um, impossible things that are not ever going to come about. But at the same time, hope and, and faith in the future is something that is really an important human quality which helps us get through hard times. It also helps to bring us together and think of real ways in which this can be made to come true. Happy Christmas, Coco. Happy Christmas. I like that whispered opening. So this is Christmas. You know, it's, I read, maybe I would have struggled to understand, but I read on Wikipedia that this is Yoko and John whispering Christmas greetings to their children, um, Kyoko and Julian, if I'm right. And it's a sweet way to start it. It, it catches the childhood magic and passes it on from one generation to the next. Very innocent and sweet. Happy Christmas, Kyoko. Happy Christmas, Julian. So this is Christmas And what have you done? But this opening, it's not terribly celebratory. It's more like, so this is Christmas and, and what have you done? Like, are we trying to figure out what we're doing celebrating Christmas? What's, what's the point? What have we done? Or is it more along the lines of of Santa's question, have you been a good boy this year? Have you been a good girl this year? I'll give you presents. What have you done? I don't know. I guess I like the first one. So this is Christmas. What have you done? Well, why are we here? Why are we celebrating Christmas? Okay, here we go. 
what have you done? Another year over And a new one just begun And so this is Christmas And the instrumentation builds up too. Um, it started out with just these these tremolo notes and the strumming guitar and now we hear the bass entering and then some chimes or bells or or something joining in and that's one thing i noticed in the first listen is the layers and the children's voices as we go along they start and then they come back and they sing a third higher or or a pitch higher adding this feeling of building joy um everything is coming together to uplift and celebrate and it doesn't start very clearly so but i noticed that it went it as the song progressed it built up to that so this is the first build up moment right here as the bass comes in bum 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 and then we hear the little ching bells or chimes whatever they are let's hear that again and so this is christmas i hope you have It's a catchy tune. I can already sing along with it as if I've known it my whole life. Um, it's very anthemic in a way. It's a celebration anthem. Also, I feel like it has some level of manifesto in it. Here come the strings. And now his war is over. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to notice something. Let me hear those strings again. I was curious if the strings were anticipating the war is over chorus. They're not really anticipating it as literally as I first thought I might have heard, but they are setting us up for it. Bum, bum, bum. And then we have war is over. And that carries us along. And then, then we have these two things happening. We have the war is over with, with the children going on and we have the voice of Lennon singing the next verse. Christmas For we can fall strong The rich and the poor ones The Lord is so long you know, I think that one of the messages of this song is that regardless of what's happening in the world around us, we have the ability to choose ourselves how we are going to 
how we are going to relate to those around us. Are we going to come together? Are we going to not pay attention, not, not cultivate class barriers, race barriers, nationality barriers, but are we ourselves going to use this holiday, which is okay, it's just a holiday, right? But it's a good reset for us to sit back and say, all right, we are all human. We all belong here. We all live here. Let's do it together. And I guess that's kind of what I'm hearing with war is over in the children's voices as he's singing for weak and for strong, the rich and the poor ones and, and the black and the white and, and all of those. I think at some point it said the red and the yellow, which I'm not sure if that was um, something to do with race or something to do with politics or something to do with. But anyway, the idea is these barriers, this holiday, at least in the Western world, has a tradition of breaking down barriers. And if we can take that tradition and make it part of our actual living, our actual life, our actual way of going through this world together, then it won't be just a holiday that comes once a year, but it will be something which, what have we done? We have, we have lived this way. We have lived this way and we do live this way. And that has a positive impact at, on so many levels, even though it feels so small when it's just us in our own little worlds, but suddenly we're not isolated in our own worlds. We're, we are the whole world. Each one of you, each one of us is part of this whole world. And in that way, not only can we look forward to a time of peace and safety and um, fearlessness in the wider world, but we can begin to create it now. And a so happy Christmas For black and for white For yellow and red one You hear how the children's voices are higher pitched now than when they were a little bit ago. Sorry, I stopped that in the middle. Let's start there again. And a so happy Christmas For black and for white For yellow and red one Let's stop all the fight Let's stop all the fight Now the children are higher again. We hope you have fun. The near and the dear one. The old and the young. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Let's hope it's a good The strings are more active. Here. It just gets more and more celebratory as it goes on. It pulls you into it. Happy Christmas, everybody! Happy Christmas, Christmas. 
I like the way it kind of fades out because you feel like it's not really ending. It's just this. We have put our attention on a different scene. We we've changed scenes here, and and the music is going on, and I guess it can go on all year long, but now this. Happy Christmas, clapping, celebration, party, children's party voices, greetings and all of this is kind of a, a practical manifestation of the ideas contained within the song. I think it's very nice. I enjoyed it. Um, I like the song a lot. It fits the Christmas um, it, it fits the Christmas mood, the Christmas spirit is what I'm trying to say. The Christmas spirit. And it's a spirit that we can all carry with us, not just today, but through this entire next year. And I hope that we can each keep a little bit of something of that in us for an entire year. So there we have it. My first listen of... Happy Christmas, war is over. Not the war, as in a specific war, but war in general. It's, it's the war of, of humanity between humans as a general concept. And that is something that we can do right here, right now, regardless of what's going on in the world. In closing, I think that I would like to say to you in these words now, from my heart, and I'm sure from Vlad's heart as well, he is sitting here behind the camera, smiling broadly, and we would like to say to you, I would like to say to you for both of us, Happy Christmas. I do hope it's a good one, without any fear, and I will see you soon.